Good afternoon, students. Good afternoon. <laughs> Today we will start with a new medicine that is Aurum Mighty. Aurum Mitalicum. Okay. Today we start with a new medicine that is Aurum Mitalicum, and as we know that Aurum Mitalicum is made up of Gold. And the gold is highly prestigious thing. The gold is highly prestigious thing. So as the gold is highly prestigious thing, oral medicine is also very important to medicine. So the pathophysiology as well as the matter picture when you see that, then you will see that oral mat is a medicine for Depression. Now, ideally, there are two types of the depression. One is endogenous, and second is exogenous. There are the two types of the depression. One is endogenous, and the second is exogenous. Here, the causative factor, causative factor is not required. The causative factor is not required. And here you need a external causative factor. So you can say that endogenous depression they have a predisposing soil to produce a depression. Endogenous depression it's an old name for the depression. Endogenous depression is also known as clinical depression. Endogenous depression is also known as is also known as clinical depression. The other name is organic depression, and the third name is major depressive disorder. Major depressive disorder. Now, major depressive disorder. So. See, when the patient comes to you and they say that I am suffering from a depression, but it's not a depression. Mostly, the real depression, depression is a mood disorder. According to the psychiatric, I am using the word psychiatric, not the psychologist. According to the psychiatric, endogenous depression is known as a mood disorder. You should always differentiate a mood disorder with the bipolar 1 and the bipolar 2. That is also a mood disorder. So the delusions which occurs that goes to the bipolar, but the mood disorder in the endogenous which produce which type of the depression. Now, endogenous depression what happens? Now, corticotrophical hormone. Now this is the hormone, corticotropical hormone, which is secreted from the hypothalamus. Corticotropic releasing hormone, corticotropic releasing, releasing hormone that is secreted from the hypothalamus, which influence or which stimulates the pituitary gland, which, is, which influence the pituitary, which influence the pituitary glands and this pituitary glands influenced and it secrete ACTH. Now this is the hormone and this adrenocorticotrophic hormone which stimulates cortisol. So cortisol are the stress hormones. So what happens in the endogenous depression? Now the difference between endogenous and the exogenous depression here, the, in an endogenous depression, there is an always a predisposing soil that, that will produce a disease. So when you read oral metallicum, the word has been used that a person is depressed throughout his life. Everybody use karyo cheki, the person is depressed throughout his life. Why the word has been used throughout his life? That means he has a predisposing soil. From the very beginning, he had a soil which is producing a depression. Even Bailey has told that Oramat is a leading remedy for the major depressive disorder for the endogenous disorder. So that is, so the cortisol
what is what now see when you when, when the patient comes and says i'm suffering from a depression or you know the depression you can just check the check the cortisol level and the cortisol level is very high so in a androgenous depression there will be high level of the cortisol high level of the stress hormones that will produce a depression now this at the same time the two another that is serotonin and second is nor epinephrine nor epinephrine as well as dopamine now these are the three hormones which is always decreased so increase cortisol level and decrease there is three hormones serotonin nor epinephrine and dopamine so these are the hormones which show you the happiness in your life and these three hormones are decreased in the androgenous depression and you know that now this affects or the stress hormones the stress hormones are affected are affected in a androgenous depression androgenous or major depressive disorder so this stress hormones ma so what say the corti the cortisol ha huh, the cortisol level will increase this three hormones will decrease and that affects and that produce depression now the word has been used to produce the disturbance in the stress hormones you need a chronic stress because see if if some incidents as we have understood in a pulsatilla pulsatilla mein mai tumne samjha hu ki sudden withdrawal of a love now sudden withdrawal of a love could not produce depression pulsatilla was hysteria as i explain you that pulsatilla initial stage produces hysteria but if you want to produce a depression especially depression as a mood disorder mm -hmm. then there need a continuous stress a chronic stress as well as the word has been used that the child trauma is very important to disturb the stress hormones so if you want if you, your stress hormones has been disturbed you should always ask the patient a history about the childhood there should be any sexual abuse or anything has happened in the childhood just now i am watching one uh, that korean series the mask ema jo jo to ini same ini mummy dubi jaye che so that is a trauma and due to that trauma the child start or they suffering from a disease so the child trauma is necessary and the chronic stress is necessary to produce a androgenous disorder so if the person comes and says hey, i have this in my life i was living happy life i am very extrovert person i am very enjoyable person and this thing happened in my mind in my life and from that day i started a depression then never be or a mat so or a mat is an endogenous depression which disturbs the stress hormones increase cortisol decrease serotonin norepinephrine dopamine at the same time that chronic stress has been affected and this chronic stress has been produced by the child trauma so if child trauma starts and that only oral depression starts now as i explain you chronic stress so according to the homeopathic science chronic grief and acute grief which is very important now chronic grief and acute grief difference chronic grief always emotions are suppressed emotions are suppressed and not expressed emotions are suppressed and not expressed that is known as a chronic grief if the patient comes to you and by the case taking if you see that the emotional level is weak now see oram is again a remedy remedy where the disease starts from the emotional level so the emotional level is weak then and then only there is a grief and grief can produce a disease 
So the chronic grief means the person have a emotions which is always suppressed. As well as they will not express the grief from outside. So if the patient comes and say, I am very much, I have grief in my life. I always weep when the sadness comes. I, I don't eat when the sadness comes. That means even though it is from the long period of her life, she is not suffering from the chronic grief. It is an acute grief. An acute grief never suppress. Acute grief never suppress and it is always thrown outside. She could not suppress and it has the expressions has been thrown outside. So the leading medicine for the acute grief is pulsatilla and ignatia. And for the chronic grief, there are two remedies. One is Natrumure and second is Aurum. So Natrum and Aurum runs for the chronic stress. So chronic stress or the chronic grief. According to the psychiatric textbook, the chronic stress in a male is business. According to the psychiatric book, the chronic stress in a male that is a business as well as work and divorce. These are the three things which affect to the endogenous depression as a chronic stress and the chronic stress which affects to the female that is death or and separation. So when you read the Bailey, they have explained that Aurum is a leading remedy for the forsaken feeling. So forsaken feeling in a chronic stage, if there is a sudden forsaken feeling, then it is pulsatilla. If it is a chronic forsaken feeling, then it should be Aurum female. But if you have to prescribe an Aurum male, then it is, there should be a business stress, there should be a work stress, or there should be a divorce stress. I had one patient, he started with the endogenous depression after the divorce. So divorce can produce depression, divorce can produce disturbance in the stress hormones, then it will be a male hormone. Sorry, male hormone. Clear? So the chronic stress, the difference between natromure and the aurum mat, that is only one thing that if we ask so many questions, that there are one percent chances that natromure will open up. Out of 100, Ignatia Pulsatilla, you just want to touch. She will say everything. Ignatia, she will sit like this. She starts whipping and when everything has been clear, she will come out. Everything is normal. So she goes inside the grief for a few minutes, for a few hours. Then she come back. Pulsatilla never goes. Immediately she starts crying and she can come back. But the Natamur and Aurum, they will, they will keep inside. The, but the reaction is different. If your Natamur will show only 1% and Aurum will never express. Aurum will never express the emotions. That is 0%. As well as the reaction is different of both the medicines, which is the way we can differentiate. Now we start with the Aurum. Now, Aurum is highly intellectual. Aurum is highly intellectual but vulnerable emotionally. See, in a Ignatia, in a Pulsatilla, we are not using the word vulnerable. But for the Natramure, for the Carcinose and for the Oramat, we are using the word vulnerable. Vulnerable means chances are there that the disease starts from this. Very, very sensitive, enomaline type, vulnerable. So highly intellectual, but emotionally they are vulnerable. So as a child, now this is a Oram. As a child, you can see Oram highly responsible, serious, disciplined, aloof. Aloof means what? He will not easily make friends. Or I don't want to make a friends. Because if to make a friends, that is an expressive, uh, means you have to become an expressive. Otherwise you could not make a friends. But or I don't want to express the feelings. 
So Oram is always aloof. So yeah, from the child, he is very serious, responsible, disciplined, aloof, and always stood fast in a class. Now, as he is highly intellectual person, the parental pressure, the first person or the first relationship in your life comes that is parents. So naturally, because he is very intellectual, the parental pressure or the parental expectation will be more and more on the oral patient. So he always, because of these four characteristics, or this four, uh, one thing I would like to say, even though you are a very intelligent person, but if your personality is not matching to your intelligence, you would not stood first. But the dust minute basin of Achina Ti Sata, so even though you are intelligent, you could not stood first. So for the success, you, you need both the things. Intellectual plus personality. The Mari personality to fan karvani chai. So even though you have a good sense, you could not rank, you could not become a ranker. So if the major joke, if you are becoming a physician or if you are a student of an MBBS, you have to read 18 hours. So 18 hours, 8 chakya basi rehu. It's not an easy job. Tamo uvaati jaso, tamo ekhudi vare paani piva jaso. Even though you have a good memory, then you could not become a doctor. But if you have that personality, then and then only you can be a successful. So Aurobindo had both. He had a personality, God gift. God gift of personality. He is very responsible, serious, disciplined, aloof. Everything is there. At the same time, he is very highly intellectual. So Samaj and parents, everyone expectation will be there from the very first day on the child. And he has to step the ladders like this. He has to increase the intellectuality and he, has, he wants to take a high position in a life. So slowly, slowly, he will become a successful person, he will become a prestigious person and he will get a success, 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 fast success in a life because of the high intellectual, because of this characteristic, the growth in the aura matter is very fast. But here on the emotional level, he is very weak. He never express emotions. Never express emotions. So if see, if given it, जे बोले है ना बोल वे चाहे, जे बोले है ना बोल वे चाहे, अबे अमाय बोल तो चुना थी, what I want, see if I say that I want water, तो everyone is ready to give me water, पर वो बोलू चुने, कि I want water, तो it happens, my parents give me milk, my parents give me juice, but my parents don't give me milk, don't give me water, and ये मैं मांगी हूँ ना थी, तो what happens, अहिया he understands, and he does a growth. Intellectually, he does a growth, but emotionally, he never expresses what he wants. So, from the very beginning, he have a feeling unloved. An unloved feeling, he has to want with an affection, warmness, but no hug. Hug, warm ne kya re na par. Hug is only positive love ones. If you give a hug to the oral med person, he will just slap you. He is always stiff, rigid, like a still body, and a still body kidney chair. In Matina Medica, we have only two remedies for the still body. Other is? Other is? Kalika. Kalika as well as oral. But this still remedy chair. They, they will like a stiff. If they say, they will be arm. Always they will sit like this. They will talk like this. Always with a well dressed. Properly. So they, so here, from the emotions, he want affections. He want warmness. But he will never show that. But he has been taking that food by this tax. तो अन्यथा जितना स्टेप हुआ तो तो जाए छे, he he is getting this, so the warmness as well as affection for the emotional level, for that the food for the emotional level is a success. 
सो जितलू वधारे सक्सेस जितलू वधारे प्रेस्टिज जितली वधारे हाई पोजीशन इमोशनली ही विल नॉट प्रोड्यूस डिजीज इफ द पर्सन इज एट द सक्सेसफुल लेवल एंड ही स्टार्ट्स डिप्रेशन देन इट इज नॉट ऑल इफ ऑरम इज एट द सक्सेसफुल लेवल एट दैट टाइम ही इज गेटिंग द इमोशनल फूड इन योर कनेक्शन एच so the water the nurturing for the emotional level is success now natural che ke success che to wealth che so wealth he is always a wealthy person high position wealthy person now it's not easy to become a wealthy person it's not easy to become a as well as it's not easy to become a successful person so for that it is a leading remedy in a personality that is workaholic you have to become a workaholic he is industrious any pass a time nahi prem karwano ya time pass karwano so he is highly workaholic he is a workaholic and industrious in a workaholic it has been example has been given it's like a robo cap i think so it's a robo cap or robot means what uh, they can they can work for a long period of a time you can why can robot can have a robot they don't they don't waste time continuously they are working 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 they can work at the same time they even wants that their employee also should be work so he will be as very strict he will be very strict he will be very ambitious we have two remedies he will be very ambitious now we have two remedies for the ambition one is nakshonika and second is oram mat what is the difference bond leader yes nakshonika is a bond leader both both the medicines are bond leader if you don't have a leadership quality you could not become a successful person you need a leadership quality but the thing is nax to fulfill his ambition he don't want any emotional support nax he can become a successful success in a business he don't want that any trauma or any emotional shock is there instead of that oram needs a emotional shock a child in trauma that if i want an affection and a warmness from my society from my family i have to prove myself so how you will prove yourself i will prove that i am a very good person i will prove that i am very ambitious i will prove that i will i am very prestigious person and that the other person can know by your success so that's why he has to become an ambitious person jo koi apne kahi de ki tumhara emotions mein hu affections aap hi dau chu then he don't want anything success in your life there is nak swamika by who can crook he wants to become a businessman but dud side ma he is a very practical person nak or oram is not a practical person he is a very emotional person so this is a difference between oram and the nak swamika now see uh, if you want to understand the core of a materia medica તમારે ઘરે જઈને રતન ટાટા સુધા મૂર્તિ બધી ફેમસ પર્સનાલિટીને વાંચવી પડે એન્ડ ધેન યુ વિલ રિયલાઇઝ હાઉ કમ્સ ધ સક્સેસ સી સિમ્પલી આઈ ટોલ્ડ ધેટ ઓરમ બીકમ સક્સેસફુલ પર્સન મેં તમને 5 મિનિટમાં કહી દીધું કે ઓરમ બીકમ સક્સેસફુલ પર્સન બહાર નીકળો જાઓ જઈને જોવો કેન ઇટ્સ ઈઝી ટુ બીકમ અ સક્સેસફુલ પર્સન તો જેટલી હાર્ડશિપ્સ આવે તો એવી બધી જ ઓરમના લાઈફમાં આવી હોય સો વેન ધ પેશન્ટ કમ્સ ટુ યુ એન્ડ ધ પેશન્ટ નેરેટ્સ ધ સ્ટોરી અબાઉટ ધ સક્સેસ ફોર ધેટ યુ હેવ ટુ રીડ ધ ફેમસ પર્સનાલિટીઝ હુ આર ધ સક્સેસફુલ નાઉ ડેઝ તો એના ઉપરથી તમને ખબર પડશે કે આમ સક્સેસફુલની સીડી કેવી રીતે ઓરમ ચડ્યો હશે સો દેટ વિલ બી ધ સ્ટોરી એન્ડ સેમ વે હી વોન્ટ્સ અફેક્શન્સ એન્ડ અ વોમ નાઉ ઇન અ લાઈફ ઓરમમાં always comes a girlfriend ek ek time aave ch if the girlfriend enters in the life he will be with the relationship so if the, during the uh, 
girlfriend stage or during the means during the relationship these emotions are nurturing by two types the warmness he will get from the girlfriend and at the same time the warmness is from the success banne taraf thi ene emotions na santosh padse to a girlfriend is also can give the warmness emotional warmness and affection to the warm person but netramune ignatia e banne ma kevu che ke the partner is because they want the love they will take any partner they continuously nurture the love they continuously nurture the emotional part they continuously nurture the grief so any person who will just give simply love they can be the partner in the natural ignition it is example che ke a natural female can be love with a bus driver mm-hmm. to koi doctor banti chokri bus na driver jodi ke bhi the love kari sake but that person is satisfying the emotion part of natural mood to e so kare che enu che je she wants emotions she wants love so that has been satisfied by the bus driver and she she is not using the intellectual part but aurum is highly intellectual so aurum always selects the partner which is very capable to help but in slight mistake in a relationship can break so from two types one is the relationship can crash the emotional level and non success or breaking down the success these are the two matter can crush the emotional play and the disease and no genus depression starts clear now the third factor that is sensitive to criticize sensitive to criticize which is very important now see what happens natrmure ignatia they are not sensitive to criticize pulsatile not sensitive to criticize because they are not highly intellectual but aurum and the carcinosin which is the two remedies they are highly no sorry carcinosin is not highly intellectual but carcinosin also also have a sensitive to criticism but aurum is highly intellectual so highly intellectual emotionally weak enu expression su che i am highly intellectual and i am emotionally weak that has been expressed as sensitive to criticize so sensitive to criticize a simple a simple remark kevo remark i ni upar dot nahi karyo tinet cross nahi karyo simple remark you will get 100 out of 100 par the ek jagah i upar dot nahi karyo small remark now see for us it is a very small remark but the small remark will produce immediate effect immediate effect on a or a person any any remark will produce immediate effect on a or a patient and immediate effect is anger and we can say that Aurum is a reservoir of anger. The Yohoi, under Gusano, the Yohoi, the Jee Diva say fatte. It's like a lava. Always they have an anger, but from inside full of anger. From outside, cool person never shows the anger. From inside. it's like a love but poor gusso reservoir of an anger as a remark to the criticism if you say something now say you are a businessman you are in a, you are the person you are an employee even though you are the having a big position on the employee but if your boss can say anything so if boss says anything that sensitivity to criticize will affect him immediately he will react what he will react he will react as an anger but he never express never shows anger kai vastu thai ane jo e dham bachada kare he has explained that he will he will throw the crockeries but that is not in front of any person no one can understand he can fight or he can throw the anger to himself
himself. He can throw the anger, he can show the anger to himself, but he will not show anger to anyone. So if someone says that I am a depression and I am very violent in an anger, that could not be Auram. So Auram can be violent, but Auram will be violent only and only for himself. So sensitive to criticism and the immediate effect of the criticism is anger. Now, the life he will be living with the success as well as sensitive to criticize. But if anything happens in the life, the emotions become weak. The emotions become weak and then starts self-loathing. As I told you that any remark will produce on the emotional level that I am worthless. That reduces. This side you will see highly self-confident person. He is a highly self-confident person on the intellectual level. But on emotional level, always there is a doubt. Then the critical remark is there. So that produces self-loathing. So self-loathing, self-worthlessness, self worthlessness, I am not fit in this world, I am not fit in this world, self-reproach, self-reproachness, self-blaming, but to just self which is. Because he says, hey, my emotions are weak, I am not able to fulfill my emotions nurturing, and that's why I have started with the disease. So self-loathing, self-worthlessness, I am not fit in this world. Self-blaming, self-reproach starts first. So that is a prior stage in a forum once the emotions starts as a disease. When he leaves with this stage, then and then only he will start suicidal thoughts. Before that, suicidal thoughts will never come. Suicidal thoughts starts. So when you open the Allen keynote and the very first line has been written, Aurum is a leading remedy for the suicidal thoughts. So when what happens? Students of the homeopathic science easily when the case comes and says, Aurum is a leading remedy for the suicidal thoughts. Aurum will never say that I have a suicidal thoughts. So what can block you? So you have to understand the depth of that. No one wants to die in this world. So when you go to the hospital, Sabhar, Bapur, Sanj, every day, 5, 4, 5 injections, frequent operations, life ma bhoj vada problems hoi. Then also the person says, no, I don't want to die. You do maximum treatment on me. No one wants to die. But Aurum wants to die. So you can understand the pain. Pain is very important in an Aurum. In an Aurum pathophysiology, pain is too much. Even on the physical, even on the emotions, even on the mental. So pain, pain, pain is that. That emotional pain you have to understand. And then it <coughs> starts last. That is self-loathing, suicidal thoughts. Now, it is a single remedy in Matiya Medica. Do you know self-loathing ni biji kai medicine chen? Self-loathing and suicidal thoughts. We have another remedy that is Lefloratum. Next is Natrum Sulf. And third is Aurum. But Aurum is a single remedy. They can do suicide. But he cannot do suicide. Problems which are. patient is suicidal, they are like, oh, this is oral. So, clear? Patient is suicidal, and you have a message that patient gone. So, we say, oh, we are proud that it was an oral. No. So, what is the thing? What happens? If you prescribe oral CN, the patient will not do suicide. This is a benefit of a he will not do suicide. 
So certain thoughts will be there. But you will not do. A do mate tamare oram ne high potency maak pani. Then he comes back. You have to run to the journey to take the patient back. Single dose will not take the patient back because it is a chronic stress. It is a chronic trauma which has lead the patient to reach to the last stage. See, just now I have two patients. Nanpato suppressed gusso. So, khat gusso da bayoche. And they have started sinusitis. And we have prescribed them Muxol. He is fantastically responding very well with the Muxol 10M. We have given 1M. Now we have started with the 10M. So, Muxol is doing wonders by the volcano. They have a suppressed anger inside. But all of suppressed anger is as a reaction of the emotions. So, let defloritum, netrum, sadhma, tamari, kruji, yadra, kvaruja. They have a suicidal thoughts, but they never do the suicide. And here, they will express the suicidal thoughts. They will cry, they will express. So, someone will say conversation, oh, don't worry, nahi karwa no suicide. So, they will come back. But if I want to do suicide at 530, 529 Sudhi Thoram will work. He will work nicely. He will complete the work. He will give the everything very nicely. Till 529 he would not recognize the Oram that he wants to do the suicide. And 530 there will be a message that Oram has done the suicide. So can you understand how code is important? If you, if you can see the Oram code, you can save this patient from 530. That is the duty of the homeopathic science. So you have to go inside. You have to understand the emotional pain of an oram. He will not say that I am suffering from an emotional pain. He will not say that I have to do the suicide. But after giving oram CM, next day he will come and say, Doctor, I have planned to do suicide at the 5.30, but somehow your medicine has saved me and I have not done the suicide. Today I am here. Bus. This is a great, I can say that it's a great gift from Dr. Hanuman that I can save a life of a patient of a major depressive disorder. Okay? So this is a mental picture of an aura of a code. Any question? I am emotional to express it now and then I have to explore the information. Means? The patient has no emotional symptom expresses it. तो आपने खबर कही थी बोले लेकिन जवाब भी नहीं जाते ना तो कुछ क्या कर सकते हैं तो आपने आ साइड थी तो और हमने डिसाइड करी जी नहीं सके नहीं मोचन साइड तो क्या मिलते करी Otherwise, he will not say that I have suicidal thoughts. 
And again, if the patient comes and says, I have a suicidal thoughts, it's never, never, never order. Pehli my example, aap yo If the patient, my, one of my patient was saying that I am suffering from a suicidal thoughts, save me from the suicidal thoughts, it's wrong. Never, he will never say about the suicide. Okay? Any question? Okay. Now, see. Aurum is a leading remedy for syphilitic. It is an anti-syphilitic remedy. Now we can look at the remedy. And it is a remedy for syphilis. So aurum is a leading remedy for syphilis, for the effect of the syphilis and especially tertiary stage of the syphilis. Syphilis is a sexually transmitted disease and syphilis there are four stages, primary, secondary, tertiary, latent and tertiary. So from that, the aurum is a leading remedy for the tertiary stage. So tertiary stage in the Jetlaman side effects time. If the person now see, we in a homeopathy we believe that there is a stigma. Do you know what is stigma? Stigma in the sutra. Cha. Cha petle. Like you all, if my parents are suffering from a syphilis, then I have the same symptoms that is known as a stigma. And if myself is suffering from the syphilis, then also I have this symptoms. So tertiary stage in a syphilis to the patient jai, then aurum is a leading remedy and it can also be as a stigma. So if my parents, my parents have suffered from the syphilis, the sexually transmitted disease that has been sent as a stigma and what will be the affection. So according to that and according to Kent Materia Medica, the syphilis effect is bones. And on the bones, it produces same as a rheumatic affection. But RA will not positive. So it is a leading remedy for the syphilitic arthritis. You will do the RA test that will be not positive but the patient will have the same rheumatic affections. The joints has been swollen and there will be boring pain. Now boring pain is again a sign. Boring and a night pain. Boring and a night pain is again a sign of a syphilis. It's not an aurum pain. But aurum is an anti-syphilitic medicine. Aurum is having a tertiary stage of the syphilis that's why whatever be the pain, if there is an eye pain, it will be boring pain. If there is a nose pain, there will be a boring pain. Joints, boring pain. So it will be have a boring and night pain will be there in a aurum. So syphilitic arthritis is a word where continuously in a cat malaria medica they have been explained, it affects to the bones. And on the bones, they will also, it is a leading remedy to produce caries. So caries is also produced in a bones. Now see, certain medicines need a depth hoy. Certain medicines depth to the na poch the hoy. So when the patient comes to you, a kaya disease na stage of person. And a disease kitli varma in a pocho. That is very important to prescribe a medicine. So if the patient comes to you and say, man poch chi ko aga jay. Man nakma di paani ni kre jay. Man na thandi laga jay. You could not prescribe arsenic. Because arsenic is for the malignant inflammation. So last stage. So simply if the patient comes and says, Man, I have a problem, I We could not prescribe arsenic. Same way, aurum. If the patient comes and says, My bones has been affected and there is an inflammation. Simply, we could not start with an aurum. Because aurum pathophysiology is anti-syphilitic. It runs to the syphilitic arthritis. They have a rheumatic joint affections. The pain will be only like a boring and the pain will be aggravated at the night and the, point, the pain is or the affections can reach till caries. So caries to the jai shake in the aurami capacity chair. But the second important thing is hyperasia. Aurum is a leading remedy for the hyperemia and there are always two types of the hyperemia. One is active and second is passive. 
Now the difference between active and the passive hyperemia. Active hyperemia means when you are doing exercise. The body needs more blood. The heart needs more blood. Means heart is working properly. Heart is throwing the blood also, pumping the blood also properly. But because you are doing athletes, so you are doing heavy exercise. So blood, heart needs more blood. That is known as active hyperemia. But the passive hyperemia means hypertension than arterial sclerosis. Sclerosis. That means thickening. Thickening of the wall of the arteries. So because of that, what happens? The blood vessels has been affected, then there will be a arterial sclerosis. So heart, heart has to pump more. But because the vessels has become thick, the walls has become thick, heart has to pump more and more, but the blood will not pump out that much, the heart has been pumped. So the heart will be now full of congestion. There will be a congestion. So congestion of a heart and the blood is not flowing outside. Due to that, the pressure will increase. So in the initial stage, it will produce cardiac hypertrophy. Cardiac hypertrophy but no dilatation or no enlargement. Because there is a blood in Heart me wall thick thick. Vessels has become sclerosed. So the blood is not coming out. So there will be a congestion in your heart. But slowly, slowly, because of that congestion, because of the thickening of a heart, the heart will convert into dilatation as well as enlargement. Now general heart pathology shall say dilatation and enlargement. Then at the same time, lungs. Brain, liver, and kidney. But then affect us. Initial stage, there will be a cardiac hypertrophy. Simply, blood collection in a heart. But sclerosis has been increased. So a time will come that heart will enlarge and there will be a dilatation of a heart. That will be known as cardiac hypertrophy. Pure cardiac hypertrophy. If at that stage it has been not retained, it will convert into heart failure. So at the end stage will be heart failure. But it has started with an hypertension. Initial stage hypertension, the hypertension will start. In the PPT we have given you the uh, words of a material medica. This time, that symptom which is showing that this is the pathophysiology. Right? So, the word has been said that there will be a waves in the blood vessels. Waves in the blood vessels means hypertension. So, hypertension starts. After that, hypertension will remain. That will disturb the vascular system. That will convert into arterial sclerosis. This arterial sclerosis will produce cardiac hypertrophy without dilatation first. Then, if it has been untreated, it is converted into complete cardiac hypertrophy with enlargement and dilatation. Now, when stage is prior to heart failure or near to heart failure, a char major organ affect us. So, when char major organ is affected, so what happens? In a brain, it will produce congestive headache. In a lungs, it will produce dyspnea. So it will produce dyspnea. In the liver, it produces cirrhosis. And in the kidney, it will produce nephrosclerosis and kidney failure. So because of the heart, when it converts into hyperemia, our congestion there, the lungs will be also go with the let's see if heart is not damaged. So, So, if the person comes directly with the cirrhosis of the liver without affection of a heart, then it is not oral. So, oral 
physiology समझ रही हो है तो emotional plane ऊपर it will start endogenous depression तो भी जो कोई जो असर नहीं कर रहा क्या ही कसूर जो नहीं था but if it starts on the physical plane the first thing which has been affected that is blood vessels that because of the blood vessels has been affected the elasticity has been affected the sclerosis has been start so it will produce arterial congestion so left side of the heart has been affected in a aura right side of the heart has been affected in a pulse the left side of the heart has been affected and the pathology will reach to the real cardiac hypertrophy as this will happen it will produce affects all these four organs as a secondary affection to the heart liver ma it produces cirrhosis of liver if kidney ma small vessels has been affected capillaries may affect the thigh then the medicine is plumber plumber is a leading remedy for the small arterioles has been affected but the long arteries has been affected and there is a kidney failure then it is an ornament clear so the congestion which leads to this four major organs then it is ornament So, orum is also remedy for glaucoma. It is a leading remedy for nose. Nose also. So, nose ma. इतने अवे क्यों चाहिए बेटा? Nose, eyes, अने ears. आ तो अने माँ भी ये congestion produce करे. तो अमे तम्मे see. I am not reading the name which we have given in the paper today. That in the eye it produce syphilitic iritis. It will produce congestive eye. In the you will you will look the uh, in the PPT the the pic of a eye. Emma ke bhi nani nani arteries tamne abhi dekha se. You will see the congestion. Ideally the cornea is avascular, but in the oral mat patient you can see this. Always you will see the vascularity in the oral as well as pain, soreness. So soreness, pain, vascularity because of the arteries has been affected. The body is diseased. Nose also having the same condition. Ear eyes also having the same condition. Ears is so it's a leading remedy for the otitis media followed by the congestion. It is a leading remedy for the panas for the interstitial keratitis. It is also leading remedy for uh, syphilitic iritis. But everything is related with the hyperemia with the so hyperemia and syphilitic affection and endogenous depression these are the three pathophysiology in a oral patient thank you any questions even the online students can ask the questions if they have
be कोई point है ना समझ पड़ी हुई तो मैं if you want to the books It's not a leading remedy for the active hyperemia. It is only for the passive hyperemia. And I mean different samjhaya huye pramane. Active hyperemia is the organ need extra blood. And the passive hyperemia means collection of a blood in one organ. They are not passed through from the one organ. That is known as a passive hyperemia. It's a request to all the students go through the presentation, go through the PPT, so that in this time we have collected two material medicas for the presentation. We have collected the symptoms from three books, and at same time we have given you the name of the symptom. So when the patient comes to you, you will understand that this is the pathophysiology which has been produced. I just share a simple example of a today, my friend. She has started with a congestion. We have a big anyagar hemorrhage thalusion, angma. Suddenly the hemorrhage was there and the eye is totally red. Now when we call to the doctor, Dev says, go and wait to the eye specialist, ophthalmologist. But if you know the consequences, it is a hemorrhage in an eye. It can be a pathophysiology of a heart or it can be a pathophysiology of a hypertension. So by some reason the hypertension has been